but most of, most of our I mean participants cannot join simply because of like connectivity. They normally complain of the connection problem. Okay, so connection plays a huge role in research. Okay. Okay. So um, sorry, Mohammed. I want that part to be clear. Does that has to do with they can afford to buy internet or the internet is not strong? I think both both. I think it's connected to both. Um, the affordability is to mobilize or be behind you people to what this what should we do. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. We we believe that with higher support, like um, in trying to um create funding where young people can be on caravans going around and then starting to sensitize their fellow young people. I think that will. I mean. Um, try to address some of the problems that we identify with respect to youth unemployment um, here. Um, second to that also, if I also with some partners can knock on the doors of policymakers to make sure that at least the young people are assisted somehow to make sure that the issue of young, I mean, unemployment is addressed. Like, um, let's come back to the Gambia here, um, aside from, I mean, Sierra Leone, but we understand that hence they are all African countries, they might share some of the problems. Um, what the government tried to do is to establish um, TV centers, that's the technical vocational and then um, entrepreneurship training mm -hmm. centers. Yeah. Yeah. If I can be going to these, I mean, TV centers to, to, to meet with the admin of the TV center or to even meet with the students and then try to sensitize them more on the harmful or the effects of unemployment, I think that will, I mean, greatly I mean, help to address like the main challenges in Africa and to mobilize the youth of African youth architects behind that. So how did this entire thing run with your team and why choosing Sierra Leone for case study when we have so many countries in Africa going through similar things? Yeah, please, we would like to know that. Okay, um, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, like the initial part of the question, I think um, because this is a group work, it requires uh, collective efforts from the whole team. So the first uh, challenge was uh, the fact that we wanted to have everyone on board at the same time uh, from the list that was sent, uh, the 10 team, yeah, the 10 teams. So uh, like Mumbai said, we had uh, that WhatsApp group created. And have to create more jobs and or create, yeah. we have to also look more into vocational side of it. So this yeah, will exactly. help in reducing the rate of unemployment. Um, exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah. I okay. think with higher support also. Hello? Hello, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I think I also it is investing greatly in the education sector. And then I think um, the education plays a, a, a very important role in em employment or employability of, of young people. I think if government can further help, I, I also to strengthen its, I mean, support in the education system that will also, I mean, greatly play dividends. Okay, so which means that um, education really also play a great role when it comes to youth unemployment. Yeah, exactly. You understand? My belief. Okay, so we will really put that into consideration. Like you said, the problem that happened in Svalion is, let's just say the same problems is happening in the whole part of Africa. Youth unemployment is huge. And I think with these great recommendations that you guys put together, we really look into it and then let's see, because it's a collective work, what we could all do together um, to, to achieve. Yeah. And then to, do you also believe that um, young people should not also wait all the time for government? And we should sometimes create our own ideas and put it on the table and invite other people to come to those ideas rather than just waiting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. I buy that idea fully because um, we should not always wait for the government to give for the position. Um, young people also should be creative enough to, to, to I mean, come up with jobs and then like to create, just be entrepreneurial, like I can say, in sense, make sure that they create the, the job for themselves rather than waiting for the mm -hmm. government to do it all. But I think um, going for, the government also have to create that enabling environment for young people to also be able to be confident enough to, to create their own jobs. If you look at the, the university output, that's the number of, I mean, young people that are graduating. Yeah. If they all have to wait for the government to employ them, it will be a very big tax for the government to fulfill. Yeah. But um, at that one, we have to also question our education system. Is our education system also teaching us to be creative or to be just like inheritance of the job that they are out there? True. 
So, which means the education system yeah. is very huge. We have not been taught on the entrepreneurship skills and how to create a business and how to, you know, things like that. I think that really, really makes sense. Yeah. But do you have anything very, to say? Very, very important. Yeah. That, that entrepreneurship part of it. Yeah, that entrepreneurship part of it, I think it should be incorporated into our syllabus in the school. Because you have to teach this, I mean, um, the student, um, like in grade 10 to 12, about how to be, I mean, to be creative, to, yeah. to to come up with his own ideas, to establish a business for him. I think entrepreneurship is very, very key. And then if I, I can... Put it, I, I buy that idea because I think that's why that's the main reason of AYA reciting that because we feel like in schools, we have not been taught how to make money. We have not been taught how to be problem solving. We have not been taught how to negotiate. And we have not been even taught how to get married. Let's say for say, right? So these are things that need to be taught and our confidence are also not being built. We've only been prepared for jobs. So th- this this is really um, a great thing. We have to see how we can unlock opportunities for ourselves without no waiting for the government or we waiting for somebody else to validate that for us. Yeah. So I think that's really a great thing. As us, the young people, we're the one that can do this for ourselves to create um, an initiative that can really unlock job unemployment for our people. That's why in AYA side now we are asking individuals, if you need help, how to make a CV, please come to us. We can help each other if you need how to make it. Mm-hmm. Because the reason why so many people are also employed, we are unable to Sometimes we are also unable to create ideas. Some people don't even know how to express themselves. So this is the reason why we, let's come up with why a research lab to bring each other with different backgrounds. Let's help each other. If you want to apply for an application on something you don't have an idea on, bring it to us. Let's see how we can do it together. If you have a business idea, how do you want to structure that business? Let's talk together. That's why we bring in so many things. Thank you so much, Mohammed. Like, Badge, can we have um, your, your last words? Before? Uh, we problems that youths are facing in Africa can be generalized into one. We, whether it's in Gambia, in Sierra Leone, in any part of Africa, I think generally we face majority of, of our problems are the same. Yeah. But going forward, uh, especially with I, I think what we can do as a, uh, a team, as a a youth-led uh, organization that we really want to impact uh, our con- continent. What we can do is uh, not to be doing what everyone is doing. Uh, understanding the fact that government is not governments generally are not doing what they are supposed to do in terms of uh, empowering the youth, in terms of empowering the women, uh, the young ones. We can really stray away from the blame game now and then act. Now. I like that. Let's uh, let's, I think let's this- take away from the blame game. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. and we should start this from ourselves. Uh, to me, I think when I look at myself, I say, okay, Baji, I am, I am the government. I am Aya in my own regard. I don't need to say, uh, Madam Hydra has to be here. The president has to be here. I think we can do this. Yeah. Um, one of the facts that will remain um, true everywhere we go is uh, resources would always be limited. We don't have enough resources. And I, I don't think in the next 10 years, we're going to have resources that will be enough for our intentions. But how do we make so we make do we manage with the resources we have to get the best outcome for our communities, for our individuals, uh, our business entrepreneurs, our governments at large? Uh, I will I want to take this example. Um, uh, three, four months ago, to be exact, uh, we uh, had this opportunity to be part of uh, the Voice of the Youth, uh, organized by the Social Change Factory. We were given uh, as a team. Uh, I had a team of uh, three people, and then I was the coach. We were given ten thousand dollars, which is a uh, two hundred dollars, yeah. to initiate a community project. Okay, in three months, we were able to come up with uh, a project that for a community of over four hundred people. We built a borehole for them. We built uh, six taps for them. A community farm. Uh, street lights were provided with electricity, and uh, this is a community that has lived for like fifteen years without a. Uh, clean water they just had a single well in the whole community that well would dry up normally so what i always told them from the beginning was okay this is ten thousand dollars that we are giving it's not impact enough for our fares from we are living in the urban centers going to the province it was like the fares was impact equal to a two days journey but if we were able to come up with that measures uh, to initiate to build that connection to know what steps to take how do we conduct our research is not the root cause of the problems how do we bring the stakeholders together, whether at the government level, at the community level? Uh, it will surprise you. At the end of the program, we were able to, uh, what we were able to have as our revenue to, in this, to implement the project was over 856,000. Yeah, that is what that from the 10,000 that we had. 
And this project was uh, considered one of the best because we end up winning. And this was among all the tertiary institutions in the country here. Amazing. So, Amazing. And from there, we were able to turn that into an organization. As we stand today, it is a registered for this is like the third month. And then we have a partnership with UN, uh, UNICEF rather. And then we, by starting, uh, I think in two months and in May, we are going to start initiating 10 projects for them to implement as well, their project. This, this, is, this is what you call being, you know, strategized. Yes. So, I'm, so I'm looking up $200. We to communicate. You guys were able to use $200 to do all of this thing. I remember yeah. African Youth Architects, we went to Fonya Wasadu and then we figured out that the committee is lacking clean water. And then the yeah. whole is having a problem. We contributed twelve thousand dollars to give to those people to to dig their borehole to have the water. Now that's twelve thousand yeah. just just for one borehole. You guys were able mm-hmm. to use ten thousand to do all of this thing. So uh, it really yeah. is that you know sometimes it's not the amount of money that's been given to you. It's sure, you sure, have to sure. have the heart for the change, and that's why even in Ewa areas like that, they say, okay, let's see. We will know which individual is ready for the job, regardless of what is given to them, because you don't look at right now. You look it's, into yeah. your problem, what is going to come in. So if you said, if I don't have the certain amount of money, I can execute this, then you are not a leader. It's, it's not. You're not going it anywhere. It has to You're come not. Hard itself. I mean, this is really genius. And thank it's, you so it's, much it's, for it's having not. individuals like you that can think like this. If we have um, four of you like this, our problems will be solved. Yeah. Well, we, we, I, I'm, I'm certain we have uh, 10 of us among, uh, among the team here. <laughs> this badge is uh, it's incredible. <laughs> So um, thank you so much, guys. Let me know, keep you guys here. Since um, you guys wrote on the good unemployment, uh, I like the style that you people use. The people on the ground did mm-hmm. the research itself. You people outside yeah. the country did the analysis and provide recommendations. These are all great recommendations. And thank you so much, everyone. So from our side, next time, um, like Abdullah would like to say this, if he's around, if we are to do the presentation itself, we will need to um, have... A slide made like a PowerPoint that really is gonna details and take us step by step. So I think this is something that we will do later on. But for now, I will say everything is um, very much cool in our side. I really like the style of work that you guys did, and this is something that um, we can learn from, and so many other people can learn from too. So thank you so much. And Baji, your individual research, we also look into that, and then I will say it's really genius. Thank you so much. Hey, Mohammed, bye. Thank you. So you, you could be thank coming faster sometimes, but thank you, because I had you the time of the day. Oh, you're going to be small. Yeah, all right. Be here. Thank you. you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Too. All right, bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Patrick. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.